How's it going everyone? I thought I'd make a quick tutorial to maybe help you guys achieve sketches on a cylindrical or rounded surface using a technique that I came up with combining a few different methods. So here it is. This is how it looks in play on this specific model that I got. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this from sketch, assuming that you guys have some basic knowledge of how to use Fusion 360. But if not, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple tutorial and I think you guys can follow along just fine. All right guys, let's begin. So here we have just a basic cylinder body here and a duplicate of a rectangular sketch. And I'm gonna be showing you guys two different ways to achieve this method. The first one is using the split face technique. So just go to modify, split face, grab that cylinder body here, and then go to splitting tool and select the border of that first rectangular shape. And to mind you guys, it doesn't have to be a rectangle this is just for the tutorial purposes and a little caveat make sure it's at the closest point for the split type make sure it's not set to split with surface which it starts at that gives you just a cut through the middle and you might not want that the closest point will be most desirable I think and hit OK turn the sketch off really quick and you guys see here it wraps around pretty nicely but the only default this way is it distorts your sketch a bit and doesn't give you the exact same size because it actually wraps around so you guys see you lose uh, a little bit of that sketch which isn't uh, that desirable so the method I came up with is a little similar but it's a lot more effective and it's a it's a, it's a, it's a step further so you grab that sketch you want to go to press pool I'm just gonna press pool towards the cylinder Hit, change it from cut to new body and then you want to split this body so you go to modify split body grab that first little rectangular sketch or second I should say uh, grab that splitting tool and you want to grab that cylinder or rounded surface and what that does it cuts it in half so you get that body you want to get rid of so make sure you always when you want to delete a body just make sure you always go to remove instead of delete because that gives you problem, like problems down the line so here we are guys you guys see that it gives you that exact same sketch size that you wanted so it doesn't distort it at all and you guys see it wraps around a lot better than that first one did but the problem with this now is you have a body inside of a body which is a uh, it's good but it's not good because let me go to that wireframe mode really quick so go down to display settings you can check this by going to visual style and then go down to wireframe hidden edges so you guys see that body still exists where that first one doesn't. So this is where the extra step comes to play. And to get rid of that, you just want to go back to um, visual style, go to shaded with the vis visible edges only. <clears throat> and what I want to do is just offset this a bit. So I'm just going to move this forward just, just slightly, just so it'll still be its own body separate from this even when you combine it. You go to modify, combine, and you want to make sure you have that target body picked first. Then you want to select your, uh, your rectangular object. And now you can hit OK. Now that made it one. And I extruded a bit, so I'm going to be extruding this anyway, so it makes sense to have it separated. So you can go back down to visual style, go to wireframe mode with hidden edges so you guys see now there's no more body inside of a body it's just on the surface of it and now what that lets you do now is you can use it as a sketch and get those uh those objects that you want it so if I want to I can press pull it to bring it out or you can bring it back in hit OK so you guys can, it's, it's so much you can do with this method and it's so simple. So hopefully this was of uh, some use to someone out there and um, if you guys got any more recommendations that you guys want to see, because I know a few more things about this program. So yeah, just let me know in the comments or something. Uh, thank you guys.